Trevor, the traction engine, is old-fashioned, but he doesn't care. He knows that he is really useful, like his friend Edward, the blue engine. Early one morning, Trevor was chuffing about the vicarage orchard. He had important news for Edward. The vicar says that not all children are able to have holidays by the sea, so he's having a garden party to raise money for a seaside trip. I'm going to be the star attraction, chatted Trevor, giving rides to all the visitors. The vicar is putting up posters all about it. I'd like to help too, sighed Edward, but without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a garden party. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. I wish there was something I could do for the party, he said. I'd like to be helpful, like Trevor. Edward's driver laughed. You're helpful in your own way, and that's on the railway. Next day, it was Trevor's turn to look disappointed. He had bad news. The vicar's been so busy that he forgot to put up the posters. Now no one will know about the party. But Edward had an idea. Don't worry, he said. Everything is going to be all right. Then he explained to his driver. The vicar can paste his posters on my cab and coaches, so wherever I go, they'll go too. Well done, Edward, said his driver. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt will agree. As indeed he did. Edward steamed happily through the stations, collecting his passengers. Look, they said, the vicar is holding a party. We must go to that. Later, Trevor was resting in the orchard shed when Bertie rolled by. Hello, Trevor. Why are you dozing there like an old stick in the mud? I'm not dozing. I'm resting, replied Trevor. Then he told Bertie about the vicar's party. I'll be there too, boasted Bertie. I'm not sure people will want to ride on an old traction engine after traveling in a smart red bus like me. The party day arrived. It had rained heavily during the night, and the orchard ground was soaked. Rain and mud won't spoil my day, said Trevor. No, indeed, agreed his driver. We'll stay on the road, then we won't get bogged down. Trevor was soon busy trundling up and down the quiet country lane, carrying lots of laughing children. He was just turning a corner when he heard Bertie. Hello, old timer. I'm taking everyone to the party. People have come from all over the island. Trevor gave Bertie a cheerful whistle and turned back toward the orchard. Then there was trouble. Help, I'm stuck, shouted Bertie. His wheels had sunk deep in the orchard mud. Terence, the tractor, arrived just in time. I'm the one who has to plow fields, laughed Terence. We'd better get you out of here. Using strong ropes, Terence and Trevor pulled Bertie clear of the mud. This will teach Bertie a thing or two, Trevor chuffered to himself. At last, Bertie was on the road again. Thank you, Trevor. You're not a stick in the mud at all. No, smiled Trevor, but you were, just for a little while. That evening, the vicar arrived to see Edward and his driver. Thanks to your good idea about the posters, hundreds of people paid to come to the party. We've raised lots of money for the children. Edward was very pleased, and Trevor fell happily asleep, thinking of all the children who would now get to the seaside at last.